Hi everyone, it's the season for the great outdoors. And today, your friends at the Ultimate Tech Hub are going to take a look at a portable fire pit from a company called Life Do. This small, compact, portable fire pit is designed for camping, hiking, picnics, or even the park. And because this fire pit weighs 17 pounds 3 ounces, this is very easy to transport, especially when you're hiking. So today, we're going to unbox, assemble, and then test this fire pit. We're going to set it up in our backyard on the side of our house to simulate camping. And we'll be using camping firewood, no charcoal. Now let's go ahead and unbox the portable fire pit. And first you get two stainless steel grates. And you get three metal support brackets. And these four pieces are the body of the fire pit. They feel very durable and solid. And you can see on the end pieces, they have the Life Do logo right here. And this is the drip pan you'll put underneath the fire pit. All right, guys, this is everything you get with this portable grill. So we'll put it together and we'll test it out. I have some hot dogs and some hamburgers and uh, we'll grill those up outside. So the only thing this box didn't come with was assembly instructions. <laughs> Uh. Luckily, it's not too hard to figure out. Both end pieces have eight slots to where you attach the side pieces. So this essentially gives you two different ways to install these side panels. The first option, which we chose, we assembled it so it had larger airflow at the bottom. With this option, you have to attach the small stainless steel grate. And the second option, these side panels will be way closer together with less airflow. And I'm guessing that option you would use charcoal. Like I said before, we're using camping firewood. Because most likely, that's how you would use it in a camping or hiking situation. Then we have this. That. Not sure what these are for. Could be the cross. This, like that. That way, in case you have some heavier stuff on here, it won't fall through. That's what I'm guessing. Well, that looks pretty good. And I guess maybe this could be either the carrying case or put this underneath, catch all the drippings and stuff like that. That looks like it's how it works. Okay, so now you can see at the bottom that small grate. This allows air to get underneath the firewood, and more air means better flames. One more thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line that tray at the bottom All with right. some foil. This will make for easy cleanup. And then next, we'll test out the grill. And my first impression of this portable fire pit, it looks nice. All these metal pieces are very solid and durable. And like I said, it's easy to transport. So in a side yard of our house, we're going to set this up with some camping chairs. And we'll throw in some firewood and get this thing started. Now just a heads up, this is not a very big fire pit. So you may need to chop the firewood to be a little bit smaller to get it to fit into the fire pit. And I found that three pieces of firewood fit in pretty nicely. And now let's go ahead and light it up. So on the day of the filming, we had lots of wind, 30 mile an hour gusts, and that was good and bad. The bad, it was hard to light the fire. However, once the fire got started, the wind really added lots of fuel to it. So we had large flames. What I like about this fire pit is that if you've ever gone camping off grid, where there are no fire pits set up, this portable fire pit is great. This fire pit will contain the flames and provide warmth. And yes, you can even cook with these flames. So now we're going to cook some hot dogs on that stainless steel grate. And just a heads up, you want to make sure you've got a really good flame going to get enough heat to cook these hot dogs. And because of the wind, we didn't cook any hamburgers on here. However, the grill did cook the hot dogs pretty well. 
I think I probably would cook the burgers with the charcoal instead of the wood. Just a personal preference. But the hot dogs came out great. After cooking the hot dogs on the grill, we added more wood to the fire pit and let it burn for a few hours. We wanted to see how long it would burn. And like I said, it got pretty windy that night. So the wood burnt very well. We thoroughly enjoyed this fire pit. And had it not been so windy outside, we would have stayed outside much longer. And the next day, cleanup was a breeze. Simply disassemble the fire pit. And rinse it off with some water. Done. All the parts fit nicely into the tray and can be packed away for the next trip. So guys, the bottom line is, if you're looking for a portable fire pit that's lightweight and durable and can be used in a multitude of situations, from camping, hiking, picnicking, or even backyard fun, then this fire pit is the one for you. And full disclosure, this fire pit was provided free of charge for a thoughtful and honest review. And that being said, we do recommend this fire pit. The only downside was it didn't come with instructions for assembly. And of course, anytime you're using a fire pit, keep it far away as possible from anything that'll catch fire. And of course, don't use this inside. I know it's kind of obvious, but I'm going to state that anyways, just for the record. Well guys, we're all done here. And I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out on the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.